Hi, good morning. So it's sunny here today. I decided to wear something bright yellow. Uh, this is an old cashmere sweater I've had for a long time. And the hair is bright yellow as well. This is Clyde here and I bought it about, I don't know, six months ago. I wore it a lot in the Caribbean when I was there a few months ago. And it really served me well. You know, it's very easy to put on. Um, right now it's completely glueless, so I have it not stuck down or anything. If you stick it down, then it looks even better. And it's not styled at all, you know, these curls are probably just worn out, but it's it's real hair, it's um, human hair. And uh, this color is very popular, I think. Everyone has this sort of um, blonde highlighted wig. When it's styled, it looks very pretty as well. Normally I just curl it with a curling iron and then comb out the curls. I usually use this middle part here, but sometimes if you put it sideways without seeing the um, lace underneath, it looks even more natural. Um, at the time I bought this wig, I was just using um, some kind of concealer in the middle here for the parting space to look more natural. Um, I think the parting spaces that look lighter, like my scalp is white. So if I put a parting space that matches my facial skin color, that doesn't look natural for me. So I like the scalp to be lighter than my uh, complexion because that's how it is in real life. Um, the other thing I think that helps with these wigs to make them look natural is to not have such a straight part. I know people often do the part going curved and stuff like that. In this lace front wig, the, part t the parting space doesn't go very far back. It's relatively short, so that's one um, disadvantage. But it still looks good because the hair is not super styled. I mean, if you go out on the street, most people are not walking around like they just walked out of a salon, you know. If I'm going somewhere special, if it's an event, if I have a date, I'll do the hair up to make it look like it just came out of a salon. But for just an everyday, uh, weekday, workday uh, wig, that's a little more dressed up than a synthetic, even though I tell you, I really do love those synthetics, how easy they are to just put on. This is a very easy wig to put on as well. Like I said, it's not glued down at all. And you can see maybe a little bit of the hairline that it looks not real. But again, the hair comes over the hairline, so it's not a big deal whether it's uh, plucked or whether it looks natural. And again, you know, some people talk about the hairline being too thick. Uh, my natural hairline is very thick. It has always been very thick. I remember as a little kid, my grandmother would say, wow, I really love your hairline, how thick it is. So the idea that we have to thin the hairline out to make it look natural depends on what uh, texture of hair it is, I guess, but it doesn't always have to be completely thinned out to make it look natural. Anyway, so that's the hair for today. I can't remember what this is called, but if you just look like uh, six by four or something, um, colored wigs under Clay here, you find it. I generally like their wigs. Um, this doesn't feel so smooth. It's a full cap after you've got, after you've passed the lace front, but um, it looks good. So, you know, that's all that matters. I have no one touching my hair like I'm touching it, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, I'll be back when I'm outside just to show you how it looks in the natural light. So I put some makeup on just because, you know, I figure I need to clean up a little bit, not just for you guys, but also for myself. Or as uh, one of my style gurus on YouTube would say, level up. Um, so I used a little hairspray in the front of the lace to hold it down so it's not sticking up so much anymore. But I haven't glued down the sides at all. And the good thing about wearing glasses is they kind of hold the edges down for you. I also have the hair on the side here, so it camouflages the edges again. I don't want to have to bother with gluing that down, even though uh, with this wig, it really does stay down on its own without any glue. I, like I said, there's a wig grip underneath, which keeps it in place. And I put these little cute things here on the sides to hold the hair back and just like to have it a little bit more stylish than just hanging on my head before. So again, I'll show you this outside in the light, but here it's a little bit brighter so you can see uh, somewhat what the hair looks like. Completely unstyled except for putting this thing here and this spot of hairspray, um, whichever one you use will probably work. It took two seconds. And that's it guys, see you in a second. So this is the hair out in the sun. Again, it's really pretty and it's relatively long, I guess like 20 something inches or something like that. 
and yeah i guess the makeup does make a difference also i wanted to point out i think people might have noticed blonde hair really does make people look younger i mean darker hair is a bit more not to say matronly but a bit more severe a bit more grown up and this color here does make people look younger also i've noticed in my wigologist <laughs> uh, experiments that at the end of the day men are very simple they just like long hair i mean the caveman type of mentality still rules the average guy so uh if you're interested in men well long hair colored hair blonde hair light hair that's the way to go <laughs> anyways have a great day i also wanted to show you these tights they're by Agnes Bay. We have some helicopters circling. It's kind of noisy here. But Agnes Bay is one of my favorite French designers. Uh, she's pretty basic, but sometimes that norm core look is what people are going for. But these are pretty cool. At the time I bought them for 70 something euros, I thought it was expensive, but they've stood the test of time. Anyway, so that's what it looks like in the light, the scalp. It doesn't really look natural for me, but it works well enough for just hanging out anyways bye so this is more work from the artist i mentioned before wildriana paulino she's born in the dominican republic but she's lived in america for several years she went to cooper union check her work out online she really is amazing and going places